Uh, to an update on a story we told you about a few months ago, you might remember Dr. Joe DeTore from when he joined us back in April. This is him discussing his mission to live underwater for 100 days. And the honest reason why I'm staying 100 days is because I can't stay 200 days. And 200 days is the distance to get from here to Mars. The entire time that I'm down here, I'm taking blood, urine, saliva, seeing what happens to the human body when you're in this state before we get in that, that plane and go to Mars. Now, after spending just over three months below the surface of a Florida lagoon, Dr. Dettori is back on land and has claimed the title for the <laughs> longest time spent underwater Woo! in a fixed environment. Yeah. Dr. Joe Dettori, who's also known as Dr. Deep Sea, joins us now. Good morning. Congratulations. Tell us, what was it like Thank being yeah. underwater for 100 days, and how does it feel to break this record? Um, the, how does it feel to break the record? Uh, you know, for me, it was never about the record. It was more about the uh, the actual study that we were doing. And we reached over almost 5,000 kids in 15 different countries to talk to them about science, technology, engineering, wow. and math. So we crushed that. And how did it feel under there for 100 days? Were you going crazy or was it all good? No, I, I mean, look, uh, the, the mental toughness that it requires to do stuff like that, it wasn't even portrayed to me until I got out. And when you're driving wow. the car on the way home and everything's coming at you like this and you're just going, wow, I'm, I'm actually in sensory stimulation. I'm, I'm in overload right now. I was like, I, I shouldn't be driving for the first like week or so. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no way I'm driving right now. So it's just one of those tol telltale things about being in a confined environment. You you were in this prolonged compression, studying the effects of that. What did you learn about the experience? Yeah, uh, so we, we have some preliminary results, but mind you, they're very, very preliminary. Uh, it's going to take about six months to crunch all the data at this point. Uh, so my preliminary results indicate that I had a decrease in cholesterol by 73 points. Uh, I also had every single inflammatory marker in my body decrease by about half, give or take. Uh, the oxidative stress and other markers of stress have reduced significantly. And uh, my coherence appears to be up. In other words, I appear to be more focused on tasks. So those, those are part of the things that have come out so far. But remember, please, the preliminary. So now, so now what, what is this data going to be used for? What's next? Everything you collected on this mission. Exactly. Great point. So we're going to brief this at the World Extreme Medicine Conference in November. And then from there, we hope that somebody will pick it up and expand on the study of living in an isolated, confined, extreme environment over the next, you know, whatever it takes to get us from here to Mars. Because that's really the ticket is we need to figure out how to get in that plane and go to Mars, you know. Wow, absolutely. Well, Dr. Joe Detroit, it's good to see you back in what looks like your living room above land. Hopefully you got, you know, a cheeseburger or something yeah. you couldn't eat for 100 days. I got a cheeseburger. Stay out the road for a few days. Too. Oh, we have more in common than I thought. I was like, man, he is so much tougher than me. That cheeseburger would have been my first go-to. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Welcome back. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.